Hello everybody and welcome to The Laughing Lab Court. My name is Dr. Elias Mohammed from The Laughing Lab Court. You'll find me at the Mal Healthcare. And today we're going to be talking about continuous glucose monitors. What are they? What are they used for? How are they used? Um, how can they be used by non-diabetic people? And uh, we're going to see. Uh, if if I, I'm going to put one on myself now. And today we're going to be reviewing this brand here. We're going to be reviewing one certain, oh, what is one certain brand here. It's called, they give me a sample. It's called the Sinocare ICAN, ICAN 3. That is the name of this CGM that we're going to be, going to be using. I'm, I'm going to be using it on myself. Uh, my friends used it. His name is Dr. Ares. My brother used it. A uh, couple of reviews here and there. Good reviews, bad reviews as well. Um, but let's deconstruct this machine and then we get to know. Uh, how it is how important it is uh, why is it very necessary for people who are diabetic and how you can use it to get the optimum meal plan for yourself if you, whether you're diabetic or a non-diabetic individual so straight out of this once we open the box this is how it comes it's a icon i3 C, uh, cgm it lasts for 15 days on their box is 15 days and um does it have an expiry? I don't think it has an expiry. Yep, okay. Moment of truth. So let's open this shit up. This thing up. Let's open this CGM. We have opened up the CGM. This is how it looks when we are opening when you open it up. And uh, the instruction manual comes with it. So it gets getting started, download the icon app from Apple Store or Google Play. That which I already did. Here is my application. I already did this, registered, and so on. So I have to take out the device, pull out the transmitter pack. Okay, step two, follow up instructions to set up and pair the transmitter for instructions on inserting the sensor. Use inserting the sensor below. Okay, so uh, this is how it looks. This is how it looks from the inside. Okay, I don't know even how, I don't know, I think I peel this out. And, uh, okay. After peeling this out, I don't know what next. How does this go? Does it go like this? Okay. We, we have peeled it out. Very long needle. Okay, yeah. So there is a, a mark here. There's a blue mark here. And then there is a blue mark here. I guess this is where that one goes. And then once that happens, I need to pair the sensor. I don't know how I'm going to be pairing the sensor. Okay, so they have a video, an instruction video on the application. So tear up the box, open it up. Uh, like we just did supposed to separate yeah we did separate like we just did tear it out we did tear it out and then we are supposed to make sure that this one matches the, the okay they have a code here matches so uh-huh so i'm using the camera here this one here i'm supposed to scan this code here so I give access to it and then let me scan the code. Okay, code is scanned. Implantation site should be five centimeters away from both sides of the belly button. But now I'm gonna have to like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, okay, my friend put it on, Dr. Ares had put it on the on his tricep. I will be putting it uh, on the belly. Because uh, a lot of the kind of work that I do, I use my arms a lot. So I would rather it not be there. So, okay, no, so clean the insertion site. Uh -huh. And then avoid sites under the belly on waistline. So five centimeters up. So I'll ha I think I'll have to move. I'll have to now physically get up and show you guys where they want it to be inserted. So, 
here, here. So they want me to insert it somewhere here. Okay. So five centimeters away from your belly button to somewhere like here is where they want it inserted. Okay. How do I insert it though? So the next is place the transmitter pack on the card, just like we did. Remove, we peeled it out, and then they want us to put the transmitter. They want us to put the transmitter pack on the card. Uh, if if you get this, if you get the machine, you're gonna get the whole uh, video thing. So once you're able to match, like you did, and then you match the blue lines here. What next after that? applying the sensor so i have to rotate it clockwise until it becomes from locked to unlocked so let's look at this here it has a lock mechanism um here right now the arrow is showing on the locked so we have to rotate it all the way and to the unlocked which is this side so from that side to this side is what they're saying we rotate it this is the video clip i'm still using so bear with me still the clip that i'm still using uh -huh. so we take out the disc make sure they align the way they are saying they should align after that place it on a hard flat surface line up the blue mark and then once it is aligned and this is inside you have to make sure that this is all the way in yeah so i have to rotate it now so I'm gonna rotate it with you from lock to unlock. So this there's a adjustable mechanism here that can easily rotate. So okay. Hmm. Why is it so hard to rotate? It is very hard to rotate, I don't know why. Do I have to... Okay, let's follow these instructions together. Place in... Uh, transmitter, firmly press until you hear a click. Okay, I didn't hear a click. Okay, that is why. Okay. The click is there so once the click has happened now i think i have to rotate it probably this time is gonna be easier let's see ah it's very easy very easy very easy okay so we have done all the steps up to where we have now rotated the thing then after the rotation what do we do after the rotation, what do we do? We now separate it. And when you're separating it, be careful not to touch. Okay, so don't touch the adhesive. So now we have separated the two. So do not touch the adhesive. So what's next now? So what next? Next is applying it on the area which is supposed to be applied. And when you're applying it, I'm supposed to like press. It has like a button here. So I'm supposed to press that and we have our CGM on. Okay, moment of truth here. Let's apply it. Let's see. <laughs> okay. On the right side, left side, right side, left side. Any mini mini more. Na, 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 na. Okay. Ah! One, two. Ow. <laughs> Okay, it was not as painful. It wasn't even painful. It wasn't painful, honestly. Okay, then what happens after application? <laughs> what happens after application? Okay, so I press it. How do I get it off? Okay, I'm supposed to just pull it off. Okay, hey! <laughs> and there it is. I officially have a continuous glucose monitor on me. Ah, uh, okay, and this is what remains after. Ooh la la. That was nice to learn it. It's 
So next now, search for transmitter. Keep device within six meters of the transmitter. So we're keeping the phone within six meters of where the transmitter is. So I think I'll, my phone will be on me. So it's, it's searching for the transmitter. Yes, it's found the sensor. It has found it. Start sensor. Okay, successfully implanted. Got it. So sensor warm up. Sensor warm up is a duration of two two hours that we will be t having this. Hello, yeah. You wanna come say hi? Say hi to the people. <laughs> he will also have his uh, his CGM inserted. There's one there that will give it to him. We are gonna like test the hell out of it. We are gonna go for swimming. We are gonna go for workouts. We're gonna do like because the company says that. It, uh, the company says that this machine will last you for 15 days. It took you can. This long for me to show up. Uh, it has some latency. So the company says it has 15 days uh, life, half life. Uh, you you can w swim with it. You can do everything you want with it. We're gonna put it to the test, and then we're gonna be looking at all kinds of food that we eat, whether it's uh, like I haven't eaten the whole day uh, since. Oof. I haven't eaten. Okay, it's a bit itchy. So I haven't eaten since morning. Yeah, yeah, it's already on. It's here. Let me see. It's a in a, in a, yeah, in a, in a, it's a warm up. I think it has a countdown for two hours for the warm up to end. So I've not eaten for since morning. I want to see once, and I'm not gonna eat. And my first meal is gonna be an egg, like two eggs, so I can see what kind of glucose spike I get. So for you people to for to know is we are gonna be putting this thing to the ultimate ultimate test. I'm gonna be eating KFC chicken, one liter ice cream. I'm going to be starving myself so we can be able to see which foods cause your, your um, glucose spike and an insulin spike in return. And these spikes of insulin are the ones that you do not want for a healthy individual. And the glucose spikes are the ones you do not want for a person who is diabetic. So keep in touch. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. In the comments, I want you to give me which foods I should be testing and which food glucose levels I should test. Which ones are going to give me, which foods do you want me to test? Their glucose spike and my insulin spikes. From, because when my glucose surges, my insulin will surge. So stay tuned. In the comments, leave which foods you want me to try out. Whether it's KFC chicken, whether it's burgers, whether it's whatever. <laughs> Two liter soda. Ah, yeah, yeah. For you guys, what it's like after working out, what it's like after eating, everything. IG, TikTok, this is on YouTube. Oh, okay. okay, guys. Bye.